Welcome to Orlando, Florida. It's the NBA on ESPN Wednesday as we get set for a matchup between the Orlando Magic and the Sacramento Kings. And now we're underway. Pass to the corner. Look at him leave his feet for the ball. Out of bounds. McGrady a jumper. It's good. Gorgeous pass for the assist. To the paint. Slices through the lane, back and forth. Nice looking Euro step. Out of bounds. Ref says it'll be King's ball. Ulrich against Hardaway. <laughs> to Gordon. Gordon fires as the shot clock expires. to Grant. Nice ball movement. Great pass. Oh, he shoots it, converts on the inside. Two points. The assist from number one. Blows past his man. Ulrich. No question. Yep, that's a foul called against the Magic. Their first team foul. And Baino Ulrich will go to the line. He's shooting 85% on the season. It's hard to score in this league, but you have a better chance if you're a great free throw shooter to do it at the free throw line. This is good basketball right here. Be aggressive, take the contact, and get to the free throw line. Goes two for two at the line. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of five to two. Nelson against Udrich. Screen set nicely. Quick catch and shoot. Jump shot for two, won't go. Oh, he beats the defender. Moving the ball, excellent teamwork. To Udrich. Udrich forces it up, defense all over him. And Jameer Nelson with a hand up to alter that shot. Hey, if you want to have a comeback and you're in range to make that comeback, you have to defend like this. Guy's a very good shooter, but you made him take a tough, tough shot. That's how you work your way back into the game. Defend and rebound. And a foul is called. And Tracy McGrady will go to the line with under a minute and a half to go in the first. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. First free throw, good. Into the game for the match, number 32. And gets both points from the line. Subbing in. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of seven to two. Reddick. Udrich jump shot. McGrady the rebound. One minute left in the first quarter. To Reddick. Nelson jumper. The Magic with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Good finish inside. Hey, you want to have a good first shot, but it's more important to have the floor balanced so you have enough rebounders who can give you second shot opportunities. Right here, good use 
of the second shot, not only in getting the rebound, but putting it back in. At the rim, misses for two. Hey, that's good offense. Got the ball in deep into the paint, and they just missed. O'Neal slams it down. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force. Livingston gets past the defense. Nice. Puts it up. Oh, he got hit, and they call it. Draws the foul called against Howard. And Sean Livingston will get to the free throw line to shoot. And he hits the first free throw. Able to convert on both free throws. And as we wind down the quarter, he just fires it up. First quarter complete. The Magic up by seven. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Livingston for two. Nice finish around the rim. All right, let's see that one again. Sends it to the corner, throws it up from deep in the corner. Bang! Hits from downtown. Orlando's two for three from three tonight. Right from the start here in the first half, they've made a conscious effort to move the basketball around and get quality shots. Here we go, here we go. Livingston against Hardaway. Moving the ball around beautifully. Right there, and it won't go. In the paint, gets it to go. Two on the follow. And here's another look at that solid finish at the rim. The finish of your defense always has to be blocking out and securing the defensive rebound. Here they didn't do it. Good pursuit on the offensive board and allowed him to stick it right back in. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Carter against Reddick. Turkaloo fires from downtown with one on the 24. Gets past the defender. Terrific ball movement. To Livingston. That's a catch and shoot for three. The Kings with the offensive rebound for another possession. Gang rebounding is how you establish a rebounding tone to your team, a toughness to your team. They've established that very well in the first half. To Hardaway. They don't beat the clock. 24-second violation. Hardaway's unable to knock it down. Defense. Defense. That's what I'd love to see. Shot clock violation. That's big-time defensive basketball. And the ball's alive. Three, 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 three. 
fires for two. The Kings with the offensive rebound for a new 24. Won't go. This is his first field goal attempt of the night. You need ego in this league to be a good player, but you can't have an ego that is outsized of what your role should be. Right here, ego got in the West. alley -oop. Oh, what a play. That's the easiest play in basketball right there. Catch it near the basket and flush it home. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of 16 to 10. Gets it up for two. Not that time. Carter into the front court. Fires from downtown and hits the three. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. Nice ball movement. Tied up and has to pass. Ulrich against Hardaway, driving baseline. Ulrich shot, blocked. Oh, that's a turnover. He stepped out of bounds. And the first half comes to an end. Orlando's up by nine. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and I've got your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Magic entered the locker room at halftime with a significant lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Orlando Magic. The Kings have got themselves in a bad situation that seems likely to only get worse. And it's easy to see how it got so bad with just a passing glance at their shot chart. Game track. Field goal percentage. The Sacramento Kings weren't efficient with their shooting and therefore they weren't effective with their offense. Their field goal percentage is lacking, and it's probably the biggest reason for their first half deficit. Overall, the efficiency really went from bad to worse in the second quarter. Player of the half. McGrady put in some work in the opening half. He made it pretty obvious that he's feeling it here today, and it's looking like that momentum is going to continue into the second half. Make sure you stick around and check it out. Who was cold? Miles would have definitely preferred being our player of the half, but he was anything but that. I'm sure he'd like to redeem himself in the second half. But the way things have been going thus far, it's hard to believe it's going to happen for him. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Welcome back to the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, for the second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. Orlando's got to be very happy with that first half. Now they've got to have that killer instinct, Jeff. Yeah, exactly. And this is what few NBA teams have. Very few NBA teams and players can continue to keep up a great level of intensity and concentration when they're playing with a lead. 
Don't ask me why, but it is a problem league-wide. Pass into the post. O'Neal's looking to post up down low. To the rim. He's fouled. JaVale McGee picks up his first of the night. And Shaquille O'Neal will go to the line for a couple of free throws. Smart basketball preventing an easy score and putting a poor free throw shooter to the free throw line. First free throw, perfect. Good free throw shooting, knocks down a pair. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of 21 to 10. McGee moving the ball, excellent teamwork. It's a turnover off the deflected pass. Inside, can't finish. I like it. I, I'm seeing more effort in the last couple minutes than we saw in the first half. It may not result in a win here tonight, but the effort is something they can build on going forward. To Hardaway. He's got two assists in this contest. Kicks it out to the corner. O'Neal. Goes to the goal. The layup, no good. It's hard to pass the ball out of a great double team because you come to their body where they have no room to pivot or create space to throw the ball out of the low post. Quick feedback, Turkaloo for three. Man, Hito Turkaloo's two for three from the perimeter. And Dave Yeager calls a timeout. His team desperately trying to get back into this one. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of 24 to 10. Terry on the drive, swatted away by O'Neal. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be King's ball. up has to make that pass Terry on the drive off the mark from point-blank range Sacramento just not set the right tone defensively they're getting absolutely obliterated on that end of the floor and puts it in Orlando's five for eight from three-point territory got his feet ready for the catch and shoot exploded up and knocked it home for the layup, flips it up and it rolls in. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. One minute remaining in the third quarter. O'Neal, pass to the corner to Grant. it up with one left on the clock knocks it down a two-pointer and Shaquille O'Neal with eight points quick move to get inside won't go the Kings with control on the rebound not able to hit it's been a blowout from the jump because they have not been able to convert offensive opportunities either first shots or second shot opportunities to Grant. Strong move to the rim. Grant for two. Nice touch at the basket. Quarter winding down. He just flips it up. And the third quarter comes to an end. Orlando's up by 19. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN after the break.
Jeff, big lead as we start the fourth quarter. What's the key to wrapping this up quickly? Continue to breathe. This other team is a joke. They're showing no signs of life. All you got to do is go out there and go through the motions. My goodness. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of 31 to 12. To the rim. Oh, rejected. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Livingston for two, lets it go. The assist. to Howard. He's averaging 15 points per game this season. And here's the replay with another look at that great finish at the rim. Excellent ball movement. Great teamwork. Terry against Carter. Livingston. Livingston fires with two on the clock from downtown. McGee, layup won't go. Sacramento's not having the kind of offensive consistency you need to win in this league. They just can't seem to get into a rhythm. To Carter. from downtown with just one left on the shot clock. Fires it back out to the perimeter. Howard has the double team close in, unable to flip it in. The double team, the intensity of the double team had an impact on that offensive possession, forcing the turnaround jump shot. Curling in to the basket. The Kings with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Kicks it out to the top of the key. Ref makes the call. Offensive foul called against Livingston. And we have a substitution being made. Into the game for the Orlando Magic. Number 32, Shaquille O'Neal. away against Udrick to McGrady he's got five points in this matchup sets up the J nicely with the step back that's good for two and Tracy McGrady with seven points and that pretty much wraps it up the rest of the game is a waste of my time They double him to the rim, and they miss another one. Haven't been able to score now in over three minutes. Orlando's leading Sacramento by a score of 35 to 16. Sends it to the corner, moving the ball around beautifully. Off the fake, the layup won't go on the adjusted attempt. The two-man game is the most difficult cover in the NBA. Here it's defended well. Guarded the ball handler and the screener, forcing the jump shot to be contested and ultimately missed. To Udrich. McGee jump shot. O'Neal shoots for three. And this one ends here. The final score is 35 to 16. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching. Here we go.
with the EA Sports Post Game Wrap Up. The Magic won this matchup with a significant margin. They did it with blocks and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. The Kings really lost big in this matchup, and you could tell it was tough on them. It's pretty obvious the awful shooting was the biggest reason for their failure here today. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Sacramento Kings. Game track. Defense. The Orlando Magic put under pressure defensively in this game, and in return, they put back some blocks and steals on the stat sheet. Not only that, they put a W in the win column. And that's everyone's favorite stat. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup. Cold. What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number three. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.